here I've spoken about uh, sexuality, about human sexuality and counterfeit sexuality. Um, please watch the previous videos in which I've explained this. But I'll continue, not really deep into this subject, but something that's related to it. And that's the following. I made some sketches just to illustrate this to you. Look, that's someone of the old creation, someone that's not born again, this is someone that is born again. So this one has the Holy Spirit in them, because their spirit has been recreated, they have been renewed, they are saved. And this one is unsaved. Um, the unsaved man is on the frequency of fear, while the one that's born again ought to operate on the frequency of faith, as they ought to. Um, because what often happens is that once someone has become born again, there's resistance against them being born again. First of all, when you were the old creation, you operate on this frequency. Your mindset was a mindset, mindset of duality. That's the self versus non-self or us versus them. Um, because it's exclusive. And your mindset was static. So you were born in sin and you operated in sin. And sins are the compulsive behavior, start the consequences of the static way of thinking. But that's all you had, that's all you could do when you were not born again. The moment you became born again, you were recreated. In a sense that you were renewed. But you still have ways of thinking of the old men of the old mind. So those ways of thinking need to be worked out of you. So you are born again now, that means you are saved, but now you need to be delivered. Why? Because if you're not delivered, this is the consequence. These dark spots here are, are let me say, small energy fields that are in the body as a consequence of an inconsistent way of thinking. You are born again, but you're not in agreement with Christ. So what happens now is that all those inconsistent ways of thinking are open doors so for darkness to reside with you. And whenever you have open doors, demons will carry themselves. And they are feeding off of the negative vibration that those thoughts are causing. Yes, you are born again. You are the light of the world when you're born again. But understand this, if you don't, if you're not renewed in your mind, that old way of thinking will still, those old ways of thinking that are in agreement with fear, will generate darkness here and there around you, in your energy fields, and demons will feed off of it. So when you're not, when you're born again, but you're not delivered, you are demonic, you are demon oppressed, through strongholds in the mind. Now, someone that's not born again can also be oppressed, but often it's possession. Now, what's possession? Now, this is someone that's not born again. They don't even, they're not born again, so they can't operate on the frequency of faith. They don't, because they don't have the Holy Spirit residing within their spirit. So all their ways of thinking are in agreement with fear. Even if they have positive thinking, they're still not born again, so they're still static. So what happens when an individual has a lot of tension? Because all people that are not born again have tension. Okay? But when someone has a lot of tension, that's a lot of waste energy. And when and when an individual reaches a certain amount of negative energy, negative tension around them, demons begin to invade an individual. Because demons can only invade an individual when there's a, a high degree of negative energy. Someone has needs to have a lot of holes in their aura, in their energy fields, for demons to lock themselves into it. This is demonic possession. It can be that an, an unclean spirit is inside the body of an individual, but it can also be that they just hang around in the broken aura. There's also through strongholds of the mind. Someone that's born again has the ability to agree with Christ and basically to be transformed by the renewing of his for mind and by doing that he or she will be free.
and delivered. Now, when you are free, you can still be attacked through psychic attacks, but I'll explain that later. Or let me go for it right now. This is a human community group of people. They're not saved. These um, dots here represent unclean spirits. These are the human beings. They are living in group in a certain geographic location. They have waste energy. And the waste energy is building up, building up, tension, tensions are building up, building up. Now, there comes a point that the tensions become so heavy that it will really, really destroy the people. People will either become suicidal as a group, or if people become instantly violent. And if you have kids around, well, children will be victimized because of it. So this is dangerous. Now, this is the way the world deals with it. They select one, a few people, or let's say in this example, they select one of the people, and the people divide them, themselves into groups, and each, groups, each group targets and focuses their negative thoughts upon this individual. Now, in ancient times, they used to do this literally like this, but it can also happen that someone is just living, uh, that someone is in this, his or her house, and that people are also in this, their houses, but they are coming together and murmur and being negative about this individual. They keep meditating and negative towards this individual over here, or towards the group. So what happens now is that by them meditating on that individual, they are sending off their negative a negative vibration towards this individual and all their waste energy is now flowing towards that individual. So the demons are still there, but some of the demons are going with the flow because there's more waste and energy over there. And as I mentioned before, demons need waste energy in order to operate. So what, ha what happens with this? This is a psychic attack. Now why do people perform psychic attacks? Most of it unconsciously. They're not even aware that they're participating in it. But there are groups called to do it, um, to do it on purpose. Why? Either whether it's conscious or unconscious, is to get the relief. These people want relief from, from the waste energy and all the demons attached to it, so they transfer them, them all to the targeted individual or targeted individuals or the targeted groups. Those people are the scapegoats. Or they are the underclass, the people that are deemed unworthy to live by the community. They, they don't have to be criminals or people that have done horrible things. They can be just anyone. This is just a function. Okay, and some people, when they were kids, they were scapegoated either by their parents or by their peers. So this happens to, but with a lot of people, this happens only occasionally. But there are some people that are really targeted. Almost a whole lifetime, they've been under this treatment. And here's the thing: often when this happens, you think that it's you. Okay, even if you are not born again. So you still have you still have a mindset, a static mindset. That does not mean that you are generating this whole thing over here. But when this is hap is going on, and let's say you are the targeted individual or you're part of the targeted group, because you have all this waste around you, and those people are relieved, you you will notice that there's a lot of bad stuff happening around you or to you, or this all this conflictive tension around you, and that others are relieved. So you begin to think it's me. So there's something wrong with me. You are not aware that this is going on. And even if you are aware of it, most people will not, they don't want to acknowledge that such things will, are going on. They will blame you, the victim. And if, if there are people part of these groups, their first loyalty will be to the group and to the relief that they have within the group. That's what they're attached to. So they will resist acknowledging that they are part of a group that contributes to this over here okay now if you are not saved if you're not in Christ and this happens to you well a lot of bad stuff can a lot of bad stuff will happen to you and most more than likely you'll become sick because all that waste energy that wage that's waging on you all this this whole energy tumor probably will work out in physical sickness it will die before your time or when you have this waste around you, some people may get up, may sense that waste and become upset with you and attack you. So.
So you, you might die before your time, or you may be the victim of persistent domestic violence. So that's why it's important to talk to you believers, talk to those that are born again, to walk by faith. Because when we encounter individuals, we don't know what's going on. It can be that an individual is part of a targeted group, or it can be that they are only at the job, they are targeted, but not somewhere else. Such situations can be complicated. That's why we cannot remain with a, with a, with a mindset of duality. We need to walk in the spirit. And when we ha don't have enough understanding, we should pray to get understanding. And look, just because you're born again, that doesn't mean you cannot be targeted. Especially when you're born again, often you will be targeted. You know why? I've, I've illustrated it here. Here you have a human community, only unsafe people, and they all have waste energy. This individual um, is also in, an, in, in darkness, but he has a bit of relief. This individual is completely surrounded by it, and others are all right. They are normal. But what you see here is that these two are believers. And what happens? Because these two are in agreement with Christ. They're not just born again, but they're also renewed in their mind. So the light that comes out of them is disrupting the darkness of those, of those people. And as you can see here, these people feel threatened by this individual, even though they can't explain why they feel threatened. They become hostile towards this individual, even though this individual has has good intentions and even though they were born in sin, they're not sinners anymore, they are righteous and some still, and look, even if you're born again, let's say you're born again but not delivered, this light is still shining, despite you still having um, inconsistent dualistic mindsets. Let's say that you're not delivered yet but, you're, but you have this going on, that light is still there. Those that are not born again don't have it, they can only have relief as you see here but I don't have this so understand as a believer you will be persecuted you will be targeted Christ warns you about it so that's what I wanted to show to you guys I hope this illustration has benefited you uh, be at peace